Yes, YouTube, welcome back to our channel. You know who it is. I'm Luke. You know who I am. He's Adam. Adam. <laughs> and we are LA Obsession. Baby, my obsession. Wait, it's peak week. It's, it's, it's nearly calm day. You can tell we've got more energy. It is starting to carb up and we are on our way to a photo shoot now. We're both looking pretty, pretty We're dapper. Ready. Pretty dapper. We're going to take you through our days, do the photo shoot, bring you along in the journey. We're not going to show you any of the boring bits because they're boring, aren't they, Luke? And we're very happy, excited people, aren't we? We're going to get on with the day. We're going to get vlogging. We're back vlogging. We're vlogging. And then we're going to smash it. So we'll catch you at the photo shoot. It's shoot time now, but before we get into this, me and Lukey boy, what did we do to ourselves this night? <laughs> we beated our entire bodies. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of a flashback and we're going to cut to yesterday. The worst experience we've ever done. Right? We won't be doing that again. We're in an underwear. So be warned. Sorry, be YouTube. Do with that as you will. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, warning, you're going to get some pants in this one. YouTube, are you going to demonetize us again? Go on, do it. <laughs> To make it a little bit more funny, we'll just catch up with you afterwards and we'll show you our hairless bodies. Yeah! <laughs> Right guys, so we're just going to have a little bit of a chat with you and a little bit of catch up about the last couple of weeks, where we have been in our heads and stuff like that, because it's been bloody tough, hasn't it? Roller coaster of emotions <coughs> up and down. So we started talking about it in August, when it was just yeah. like a bit of a... Should we do it? A bit of an idea. You know, yeah, we did a little bit of a jokey kind of thing, didn't we, about we're going to do a physique comp. Yeah. And then it just happened, came together, sponsors got involved, and we are like, we got to do it. <laughs> Literally these last like four to six weeks where you're literally depleting your body and you're putting your body through so much strain and so much work and eating so little food. It's kind of a bit that's not really spoke about yeah, in, yeah. in bodybuilding or physique comps. Yeah, it's just like, like, you understand that there's a prep and you understand there's a show day. Everything else, it's like, I say, it's like we've literally gone through parts where like I felt like I've had an eating disorder at points, really depressed. I've been depressed. Been, it's yeah. like, like the other week I was saying to Adam, I drove to the gym and I didn't want to train. I slept in the car. It's like, when do I ever, or when yeah, do we yeah. ever go to a gym and not want to yeah, train? It's been, it's come to that. It's been like yeah, more yeah. love-hate relationship, hasn't it? These are the kind of things that people don't mention and don't talk about when it comes to bodybuilding, and it's not, this is not a healthy or sustainable thing to do to your body. The bodies that we have now are kind of people's aspirations and fitness goals, and it's not feasible for anybody at all. No, it's not just that. I suppose we want to talk as well about like all the other stuff that's hard, and like the thing for me that I didn't realise was the amount it's going to cost. I mean, without food, because we've been looking at muscle food. Thank, thank you. For you. Thank <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> have helped us out so much with our meat for that, which would have been an extra god knows how much. Yeah. Like it's cost me and Adam each about one thousand two hundred at least. At least, at minimum. Yeah. That's with. We are going to do a video that's a little bit of a focus around like this is what you need to compete. If you're thinking about competing, you need to hit this checklist before you really do it. I'm going to go straight out there. And for me personally, I don't want to do another comp anytime soon. Maybe we'll yeah, see yeah. some we'll different ones on stage. Do. But it's just for me, I'm not a very reserved person. I like to be going out. I like to be socialising, and it's. So restricted. Yeah, we are. We're, we're both very extroverted people. Hence, like the vlogs and stuff like that. We're very energetic and very outgoing. It, it just it takes that away from yeah, you, doesn't it? it? Changes you. As, it literally changes you as a person. It's like little things. So like, like we like having. I like having a routine. I love yeah, having yeah. a routine. I love being structured with my diet. But I don't like being this structured. No. I like to live at the same time. Yeah. The whole kind of point of what I've preached throughout my whole weight loss journey is sustainability and making sure that your plan's sustainable. And I know I'm going to look like this maybe a week tops and then when my diet goes back to normal it's going to be That's going to be hard mentally It's going to be really hard mentally I've put the last 18 months of my life have been such a grind to lose weight and get lean I think what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll come back down and I'll balance Me, I want to bulk Go on, I'm going to be fucking Hulk me And Hulk <sighs> Smash yeah, yeah. Big off. No, no, I do want to bulk. You have to kind of refeed yourself into normal food slowly, but then the first thing you want to do when you've just finished the competition is eat, eat stuff that you've not eat twelve 
Krispy Kreme donut, which I'm still going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to beat you to That'll be the first vlog you can eat Krispy Kreme donuts, donuts the fastest. fastest. One of the other things it's been really hard on. God knows I could do it if you had a relationship. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I've been moody enough with Sex you. drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. There is positives that we've kind of taken away from this. We've learned a lot about our bodies, how our bodies adapt to different styles of dieting, different types of exercise, engaging muscles and activating yeah, yeah. muscles in specific movements, posing and stuff like that. I push myself to full yeah, potential yeah. and diet, eat more. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like my body has been so depleted and like my calories at the lowest have been on 1450. That is extremely low. That's a thousand calorie deficit before I get out of bed. I have loved the process and I'm sure I've loved the stage day but I don't not, think it's not my cup of tea. We're going to obviously keep going with everything, get everything nice, happy and energetic throughout the, the weekend of the competition and like show off our hard work because at the end of the day we've put so in a lot of graft for this. Well, we don't need to comment is what do you think our first cheap meal or like drink or whatever yeah, should yeah. be. Right guys, so although we are catching some beautiful rays here, yeah. we need to look a little bit darker, don't we Adam? So our next stage is to travel down to Watford in the morning and to go and get our spritz. Yeah. I'm very nervous about this. Good. <laughs> God, what are we going to look like? Yeah. Jesus. I'll probably love it, I'm going to yeah. be so defined. Yeah. <laughs> right then, we will right, see okay, you we'll with some you. banging tunes in car. Early the next morning, and we are en route to Watford. Oh, yeah, yeah. Competition day. Oh, we know people. Competition day. Um, so basically, guys, on our way down now, we've got registration a little bit later on today, and then we have got the tan. That's going to be. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm just editing this video now. A little bit of fourth wall yeah, breaking I'm, I'm for you. I'm doing it now and again. Yeah, yeah. Luke, Luke loves his editing. Well. He loves doing his editing. Uh, but yeah, guys, we will see you when we are down in London. Um, Probably gonna have to queue for ages for the registration, so we'll probably just see you when we're tanning. We're tanning, we're tanning, we're tanning. We're tanning. <laughs> we're nearly there, yeah, Lou. Yeah, yeah, we're nearly there. It shouldn't take too much longer now. Go on, the <laughs> What are you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, <Lord>, Mace. <laughs> there we are. Ready for them long drives all the time. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh. Please, please do that. Thousands of tears later. Oh, look at Luke at his prom. He's lost size since then. <laughs> this is great banter. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he was a favourite. Look at that. Picture difference. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, my, my cousin's the least favourite. <laughs> <laughs> size of that. Okay, guys, so we have just registered at Two Bros for the event. We're very, very excited. Six. <laughs> it's 153 and 96. Hopefully, that's oh, not the positions that we finish in. I know. <laughs> so, so we'll find out. Yeah, we, just, we found out there's about 20 people in our category in there. Yeah, yeah, so. 25. 25 in our category. Oh, it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> what we've got to do now, we've got to go get spray tanned, as it says over there, and then we'll, I suppose we'll come back and you'll see our faces. I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't think I'd get nervous, but I'm nervous now. This is it, this is kicking now. I've seen everyone and stuff, it's, it's getting it's exciting. Kicking in. <laughs> oh, hey! So, like we said, we have finished the tan. Look at, I mean, I'm going to six packs because that's what we're here for. <laughs> we're not here for personality, are we? <laughs> um, it does make our teeth glow. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, so we've just got our fake tan done. We are now, we've registered, tan done. This is the base layer. We've got to come back in the morning for another layer. We're going to go home now. What's something we've been looking forward to? What do we get to, Adam? We're here to drink some wine. Red wine. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to go and sit that out. Yeah, sit that, that dehydrate a little bit. <laughs> the only time is good when you yeah, say that. The only time I recommend dehydrating. But yeah, so we're feeling full. Steve is happy as well. Yeah, so now it's just about getting the shreds on, basically, and getting ready for tomorrow. Resting for tomorrow. I feel weird this time. Anyway, guys. We will see you back at the house. Red wine time. Red wine time. Oh, that song. Red, red wine. <laughs> Somebody order a wine hues. A wine hues. And before you ask, no, I don't. A wine hues. It's a shush, 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 shush. <laughs> and you've got to carefully measure this. You're only allowed 250 mil and you won't want to have more. <laughs> I guess so. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This is 16 weeks for this. Cheers, mate. Yes. Oh, yeah, the light red wine that's so good. Oh, yeah. It tastes like sins. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to be very careful about second. It's just nice. And yeah, yeah. No drinking 16 weeks. <laughs> We're going to be merry. We've got show day tomorrow. 
we're going to end the video here. So well, let us know what you think of our tent because I'm, I'm kind of liking it. No, look, I didn't look to before. 70 <laughs> quid? 70 quid? Let me find the bin. <laughs> there it's gone. You know, we were talking about costs earlier in the video. Yeah, yeah. pointless costs. Do you know why I don't need a tan? Because I've got a black dad. <laughs> Already paid for it. Right, guys, so we will see you tomorrow morning, nice and early on comp day. It's finally here, 16 weeks in the making. And remember, one last thing to say stay, stay obsessed. obsessed. Oh, double smash! <laughs>